really pushing the envelope with regard to what can be done with homes in the 21st century to respond to environmental limitations. It will be the first building in New York City which is truly zero energy. So it's a house where energy flows into Con Edison's grid and comes back out of Con Edison's grid. But at the end of the year, the tally is zero. Well, the design inspiration was to make a house of stacked cubes that are shifted to provide outdoor spaces at every level. This is a, a typical New York brownstone site. It's 25 feet wide and 100 feet long. And what we'll do here is we'll construct a base. We'll excavate the earth, we'll make foundations, and the ground floor of the building, and while we're doing that, we'll build the second, third, and fourth floors in the factory. As the ground is complete, a truck will pull up, uh, or several trucks, with the modules. They'll be hoisted by crane over the top of these wires and set in place. That will take about two days. Compared to a, a conventional house, uh, they're maybe five, ten percent more expensive. Well, the walls and the energy production system, I would say, as taken together, are the most expensive uh, components. The walls are thicker, they have more material, they have more insulation, and the energy production system is something we never had before, so it's more expensive. Design a great house, build a great house, but make it, uh, make it energy independent, and you win on all fronts.